Alright, in order to get this wrapped around with the wood, at first we had to put a piece of steel in here and I welded it in place to give a backbone or a form to put this wood in here and fasten it. So let's go over to the other side and see how it's coming along as I just started the other side now. It's a little more difficult because there's a doorway involved in a short space. Okay, as you can see, this side is unfinished and it's about to begin. I put the steel piece in place here, which has been bent to form the uh, curved area. These, this piece, the initial piece, has been biscuited, ready to accept the uh, next piece here. Now come on inside and take a look at this. Okay, so I've welded along inside of here with the heat of it has bent this metal, which is just decorative. I'll fix that later. This will create a waterproof barrier. I used some uh, waterproof uh, butyl tape on the outside as well to keep any water from traveling through. Now, I recommend to people not to get a bus of this type. If you want to get a van, that's fine, but the bus has been a problem because they use a lot of stainless steel in which is very hard to work with, hard to cut, hard to drill. I pre-drilled some holes in here. Now I'm going to fasten through the wood, through this metal, against the actual body of the van to create that uh, barrier. I've used the self-tapping screws for all the metal to metal work and all, but because it's stainless steel I had to pre-drill the holes. It just wasn't working to uh, use the screw to tap it into it. Now, snugged up there now, this creates a waterproof barrier on the outside. I can only go so far because I have to slide the last piece of wood in from this side. I have to slide that last piece of wood in here to create and fill that in. Okay, back to this part here. Okay, I'm gluing these biscuits in place. I'm going to put them in the biscuit holes, creating that tongue and groove that we did before to make sure that this uh, stays flush with where we want to be. Slather that glue on there. Today we're jiving with the Cal Jader here, a little blast in the past with our jazz affectionados, such as myself. Can't, can't do it without the good sounds. Something I learned from working on the other side, I've pre-drilled the holes in the steel where we're going to back screw uh, these pieces into place. Um, nice and tight. Get water out, that's the main thing inside to get in form. All right, now. Now we're going to go inside here. If we remember way back in the beginning, before this thing was all torn off, I had to disassemble all the inside, so I have plenty of screws, of which I will be using recycling these screws. Screwing into this uh, back side of the wood so that no screws are showing outside, and yet it's nice and sturdy. Nice and snug. Okay, so I finished the wrapping the wood around the front of the uh, passenger side here. I've uh, applied my uh, blue ant plywood for stabilizing the background. Then I put this waterproof membrane on here, this thin foam, so in case any water does get through, uh, but I doubt it. Uh, then I'll proceed to put the wood siding down here after I figure out where the battery boxes and all are going to go. In the meantime, check out some of the other videos on the construction of it as we work our way along and uh, check John down the road.